One of my most popular videos was my tutorial on how to install apps in iOS 5 through 6 via the TRS. However, that method has changed since I made the tutorial in 2023, so now I shall give you an updated tutorial. The only item required to install apps on iOS 5 through 7 is a jailbroken iOS device running iOS 5, 6, or 7. If you're not jailbroken yet and don't know how to, I'll link jailbreak tutorials for iOS 5 through 7 in this video's description. And please note there are some versions that I had to leave out like 5.0 for devices besides the iPhone 4S. 5.1 and 7.0 or 7.1.2, although they theoretically are jailbreak jailbreakable with Evasion 7. I've never gotten that to work, and I've heard of that working people's devices anyway. But I will demo this to you now on my iOS 7 iPhone 5S. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you need to do is you need to go into Cydia. Sources. And now what you need to do is hit edit, add, and then you need to add this repository, which I also have in the description, onepo.xmo.com slash dev, add the source. Now let's go ahead and let's do its thing. Return to Cydia. Then you go into Electamon Zerbo, go into all packages. And what you need to do is you need to install Viteris. Now it will go ahead and automatically install AppSync, Unified, and Viteris helper, which you need for this. So go ahead and hit modify, install, and go ahead and let Viteris install. And I'll go back to you once it's done installing. Once Viteris is done installing, go, you should go ahead and be able to go home. And then right there, Viteris will be right there. And then you can go ahead and, ahead and just search up for any apps. You can also crack them to make the, the not require Apple IDs if you sideload IPA files. And you can just do really any app you want. So for example, let's just say I want to download Hulu, then I can just go ahead and download it right here. And it's not going to show up because again, this is being siloed. And it took several minutes, but just like that, Hulu Plus is now officially installed on my iPhone. So did this work for you? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes fanboy and as always, peace out.